India's Monetary Policy Committee is set to announce its decision on Thursday. The MPC is likely to remain on pause on the key lending rate amidst easing inflation and resilient growth. All 18 economists polled by Bloomberg expect the MPC to maintain status quo on the RBI's repo rate on Thursday. The benchmark policy repo rate is currently at 6.5%. Amidst a gradual decline in inflation and some moderation in growth arising from external headwinds, Rahul Bajoria, Chief India Economist at Barclays, expects the RBI to stay on hold through FY24. Indranil Pan, Chief India Economist at Yes Bank, expects the MPC to remain on a prolonged pause and then cut rates in February next year. Now let's have a look at some of the factors that are likely to influence the MPC's decision. In April, that's the last inflation print that the MPC has, retail inflation fell to an 18-month low of 4.7%. It fell within the RBI's target range for the second straight month raising the bar for further rate hikes. Trends for May suggest that inflation can ease further still, closer to 4%, helped by base effects. 4% is the MPC's target, plus or minus 2%. Inflation estimates for the ongoing quarter can be downgraded in the upcoming policy. On the other hand, growth remains strong, with the Indian economy having grown by 6.1% in Q4 FY23. The domestic banking system's liquidity is expected to remain flush with the RBI's decision to withdraw 2,000 rupee notes, the recent variable rate repo auction and a flat balance of payments this year. This is according to Goldman Sachs. Since the last policy, yields on the benchmark 10-year GSEC have fallen and are currently trading closer to the 7% mark. Oil prices are trending lower, while the Indian rupee has depreciated since the last policy because of a strong dollar. A delay in the onset of the southwest monsoons will have an impact on domestic food prices and possibly rural demand, but that remains to be seen.